back to my channel if you're new on this channel my name is Chiso and I'm a software engineer and youtuber based in Lagos Nigeria if you're not new always good to have you back thank you so much for watching thank you so much for viewing let's get straight to the video some skills especially for tech people are just as important as technical skills most people shy away from soft skills we actually need soft skills to just move from a regular employee or a regular job seeker to someone that will be high valued so the first soft skill we're going to be looking at is collaboration communication and teamwork when you talk about teamwork you're talking about communication and collaborating so they are all intertwined now when you're collaborating with people to build tech solutions it makes your product more innovative it makes your product more versatile people always say two heads are better than one and i agree with that because if i'm working on a project and i call two or three people to come and collaborate with me on that project best believe that it won't be it, it wouldn't be only my ideas that will come to life but rather it would be a mix of awesome ideas so learning how to collaborate is a very very important soft skill and learning how to be a team player as well so don't shy away from working with others so people are like I can do it on my own. I'm a full stack developer. I don't need anybody. But you actually need to learn how to collaborate with other people. It's very important. And when collaboration comes, you're going to talk about effective communication. Being able to relay your ideas or explain something to your team member. This is something most of us struggle with, especially people that are in software engineering space. As an engineer, you need to be able to explain to your colleagues how your code works. And why it does what it does as a product designer you need to be able to explain to stakeholders or other people that are going to use the product why the product is doing what it does so this is where effective communication comes in I mean, when you're meeting with stakeholders these people are not they're not tech savvy right so they wouldn't want someone that will come and spew out the same tech jackals they want to hear plain english and you also see this skill of communication come to play if you've applied for a job or if you're in the technical interview side of a job, you see your interviewer asking you to explain what you're doing. They're not just telling you to do that for no reason. They're telling you to see if you'll be able to communicate clearly your thought process, right? So these are some of the soft skills your interviewer tests you for, even in technical interviews. So always be on the lookout for that question. Another skill is time management and organization. A delay in a certain task being delivered completely can ruin the software development life cycle of a product. So usually it's like a flow. If you don't bring up your, um, if you don't complete your deliverables on time, you're going to delay someone else that will in turn delay another person. So you see like it's a ripple effect. Have a to-do list, know the tasks that are of more priority and know the ones that are of lower priority. So you can manage your time better. And the skill of time management also comes to play when you're interviewing for a role and they give you like some coding tests to solve. They're not setting a timer to rush you or to make you feel um, tensed up. That timer is there to make sure that, okay, this person can bring out the solution in this short frame of time. So that's actually a test as well. So these soft skills cut across both you being in a job and you looking for a job. Other thing is empathy, building tech solutions with empathy. There are some bank applications that you use. I'm not going to call names, but there are some bank applications that you use and you're like, who designed this? Who built this? So the thing with being in a tech space is you're meant to understand the pain point of the user. If you do not understand the pain point of the user, you're going to end up building things that are not necessary and things that don't solve the exact problem. The customer wants to send money from here to here. Make that experience seamless, right? So building empathetically helps you and it's one of the soft skills I feel like a tech person should have. Another thing is very important, right? Critical thinking, having a flexible mindset and being able to think really fast in very tough situations. To be able to make informed decisions, you need to be able to be proactive in the things that you're doing. And these decisions should be things that would probably save the company time, probably save the company money, and just being efficient in whatsoever decision that you are making. Conflict resolution. And this is a topic most people or most companies shy away from. You see companies hosting trainings on soft skills, but nobody actually talks about how to resolve conflicts in the office. Try to learn how to resolve conflicts in good terms, treating the other person with dignity and respect, and as well still, still making the climate very conducive for people to stay. Five different styles of handling conflict is compromising number one. Compromising is when you are not 
you're not looking out for yourself this time around you just want the person to be okay you're compromising to make sure that the situation is going to die down on time you're being accommodating you're avoiding conflicts when you see it and other stuff like competing and collaborating so i mean it's a different topic on its own and you can always do your research on several ways that you can avoid conflict when i was preparing for interviews there is this thing called behavioral interviews they're going to ask you things like oh what if you um have conflict with your colleague how are you going to handle it or what if someone shuts you up during a meeting how are you going to approach the person and stuff like that so these are things that you should practice to understand how they work and just be better conflict resolver how do you learn these soft skills the first one is asking for feedback ask people how you're doing and don't be scared to get like constructive feedback whether the feedback is good or bad you know that whatever you get you're going to apply those things that people have told you to just become better second is being self-aware Self-awareness is very important. Tell yourself the truth and also know the things that you should improve on. If you know your time management skills are not so good, you know that you're going to improve on your time management. If you know that when someone fights with you or someone, someone calls you in the office, you're going to start keeping manly, so it's not person. That's where you should actually improve on in your conflict resolution skills. So being self-aware is actually a soft skill on its own. And lastly, and most importantly, start doing it, start practicing, start communicating with people, start networking. I mean, I think tech people don't really like talking, they just want to be on their laptop doing their thing. But be, be more open, try to collaborate with other people, try to be a team player, let people see you as someone that's always open to share ideas. So there are a ton of soft skills that I haven't talked about in this video, but these are the ones I feel like are very important because they reflect both in your workspace when you get a job and they even reflect when you're trying to look for a job right yeah so this is the end of the video guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment for me in the comment section if you have something to tell me and please guys do not forget to subscribe see you in the next video bye